What's going on, guys? And welcome back to some more Vikings uh, reactions. Okay, we are back once again. Um, today, I'm hoping I can do two episodes again today, man. It's been an awesome ride so far, man. Being here with Ragnar and all the things that come with it. They're about to attack Paris. And that's what I'm here for. So we just going to jump in and see what they're about to do. And then I will have a review of either one or two episodes. I'm hoping I can do two episodes today. I'm going to try to get out at least one of these hopefully we can get to those two episodes today so we have the situation going on um back at home that was kind of resolved in a certain way but there's still you know that animosity you know what i'm saying um a lot of people was you know people in the comment section they you know aslog she she gave up she she did she gave up the panani too easy man and to me, I believe that Ragnar had all right to treat her the way he did when he got back because I don't care who he's sleeping with. It could be you could be sleeping with God himself. I'm gonna have a problem with it. <laughs> I'm gonna have a problem with it because imagine this guy. And that's why I'm like, like Um At that point in the story we didn't know. We still don't know if Ragnar slept with 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 um with Quintrit Quintrit whatever her name is we still don't know that could be um as um as Aether Wolf was saying there's no record of you being pregnant so how is it that you haven't baby there was no report of you being pregnant they would have known that you were pregnant you know what I'm saying and would be questioning who baby this is so him her saying that this is Ragnar baby we still don't know what the hell is happening so she could be just using that as a ploy to scare them off or something. You know what I'm saying? But now they're in a pickle and now we know what's going on. So now it seems like Jude it seems like Eckbert, King Eckbert is is um is sleeping with Judith. It seems like, you know, for sparing her life, he's trying to get some of that too. So it's just weird the stuff that's going on in this show right now. Um, but we know what's going on over in Paris. Um, they're about to attack. We don't know how successful they're going to be, but we'll see. So let's go watch this episode because I'm hyped. I'm ready to go. So let's go watch this, man. And I will see you guys right back here for the review. <laughs> All right. Guys, talk about a roller coaster. Talk about a roller coaster, man. Oh my god. That was a roller coaster. I actually cried when I saw that uh, when I really thought that Ragnar died, man. Um I really I teared up because I didn't want to see him go. I didn't want to see him go because at that point I'm thinking like who's going to be the guy now? Who's going to be the guy? Bjorn, you know what I'm saying? Like he's not He's not confident enough to be a lead in this show. It's just my belief. Is you know what I'm saying? Like, I don't think he fits that leader role yet. He's getting there. He's getting there, but I don't think he can carry this show. You get what I'm trying to say? Like, I don't think he can carry the show like Ragnar is carrying the show as the lead um, actor on the show right now. I don't think he got that. I don't think he has that yet. He's great. In the role he is right now, he's awesome. You know what I'm saying? But I don't think he could carry the show if that's, you know, that's weird. If that's where they were heading. You know what I mean? But, man, that thing, it was a roller coaster ride because I didn't know. I didn't know that that was going to happen. You know what I'm saying? Him getting baptized and all of that other stuff. I mean, you know what I mean? Had me saying, man, he ended up. That was mind blowing, and then they pulled this Trojan horse move. Ah, oh, man, that was it, it. Was a great three episodes, man. Except for the, I think it was episode nine. They had th those times where they were showing King Edward and Judith. They could have, they could have, they could have. They could've, I knew that they kind of had to wrap up that storyline. What was going on there? 
I knew they had to because we needed to know what was happening with Aether Wolf if he got back home safe, you know what I'm saying, or whatever. We needed to know what was the result of that. I'm glad they didn't leave it as a plot hole. You get what I'm saying? The problem with it is that... The, the problem with it, I think they kind of forced it into episode 9 so that they didn't have to address it in episode 10. I think they took too much time and it, it, it just kind of broke the momentum of how the show was just kind of... The, the the pacing was absolutely awesome and then it this just kind of broke into everything that we were seeing going on in Paris so it was it was just weird placement in the show and that's what I'm saying when I say it breaks the pacing because we're so concentrated on what's going on in Paris I don't need to know it, it, we need to know but that wasn't the time for us to know what they should have did with that they should have showed that immediately from from episode eight they should have begun with that in episode eight that's what i believe they should have begun with that scene in episode eight and get that out of the way before we jump into everything that's happening in paris from the first battle from them getting defeated and all of this other stuff that should have been the marquee of episode eight nine and ten they should have just begun with King Edward, Judith, Aetherwolf, all of that stuff should have happened. You get what I'm saying? I think it's just bad placement. And it just kind of took you out of what was going on in Paris. Um, you know, we wanted to see what was happening with Ragnar. You know, him laying in the pool of blood. All that stuff was awesome. All that stuff was awesome. And then we come back to King, King Edward giving some dumbass speech. Like, I don't want to hear this dude right now. You know what I'm saying? So I just feel like that was they just chose a bad place to wrap up that plot hole, that plot hole right there. So let's talk about the real illness. Now that I get that ranting out of the way that I didn't like, so if I didn't explain it completely of how I felt about it during the episode, you guys understand now how I felt about it, why I felt how I felt. And, you know, so these things take place. In Paris, they battled, they went in on them, they got utterly defeated. They couldn't even cross the, they couldn't cross the bridge. When they got across the bridge, they met with, you know what I'm saying? They tried to climb the walls, that didn't work. <laughs> Floki started blaming the gods, blaming himself. What did he do? Why have you betrayed me? All of this other stuff. All that is going on, and they don't know, you know what I'm saying, what to do. So when they were all defeated now, and talking all this crap and all of this stuff, Ragnar comes in. And this is what I've been saying. If you guys have been watching my reactions, you know I've been saying that these guys did not listen to Ragnar. And this is the reason why he put he put Floki in charge. This is why he put Floki in charge to prove something to them. Other than the fact that he wanted he kinda, you know, put Floki in charge because he you know he you know he was just gonna run with it and fail. <laughs> which, which actually happened because nobody really really they really did not respect Ragnar as king because if you notice you know he even says it um during these episodes he said you know if I'm not anything I am a patient man this man they have a saying right they have a saying it basically <laughs> you know where I'm from you know you know gives somebody enough rope and they'll kill themselves right just to put it in those terms so you understand clearly that's not how we say it back home but that's what it means give what is some give them enough rope to hang themselves right and that's pretty much the type of person that ragnar is a very patient person and you know if they had said no ragnar is king he should be the one leading us into battle you know if they had done that, he would have came up with a plan. But he didn't do anything. He just went along. Whatever y'all, whatever you guys choose to do, that's what we're going to do. Because you guys need to remember also that Ragnar sat down with Athelstan. And basically, Athelstan, they came up with a battle plan of, you know what I'm saying, without them being there. 
None of them were there. That was just Ragnar and Athelstan that had that was you know they had the the sand castle or whatever or you know a mock up of what Paris looks like and Ragnar had a plan but they Froki decided to kill Athelstan and and Ragnar said okay you don't you don't want to listen to my wisdom and the guy that I'm getting all this information from you kill him okay you take charge you know best right you know best right and that's why he had to come out and make that speech and and, and let him know I am king. You should be listening to me. He's like, I didn't choose this. This was bestowed upon me. We all know this from season from season one, from he killed Earl, whatever his name is. I can't, Harrelston or what, whatever his name is. I can't even remember his damn name. Earl, when they took out that dude that didn't like him. We all know Ragnar, when you're destined for great things, there's nothing that can come in the way to stop it and that's what they hated about him the most because he doesn't ask for none of this stuff it just keeps happening to him it just keeps happening he never wanted to be earl the man was just curious about the world he's like why do we keep going east when there's when there's places west that we can go and try to figure out right they found england right came back showed them now everybody want to go to england Earl, whatever his name is, tried to rob Ragnar, tried to kill him. He died in place. He became Earl. The thing about a king, thinking Ragnar didn't want to be king. He tried to work with King Horik. King Horik decided he needed to take out Ragnar, turn and, and and the tables turned against him. Ragnar took him out. He became king. He never wanted none of these positions. He never did. It's the truth. He just happens, he, he he had no choice. He had to do these things. So these things, these positions are bestowed upon him. The man is just a curious man, just wants to know about the world and to, to, to do stuff, right? And every time is just some, some BS and some foolishness and they never want to listen. Everybody got a voice. Everybody chirping, 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 chirping. You get what I'm saying? And I'm all for that as long as you recognize who the boss is you get what i'm saying as long as you realize who the boss is i am all for having round table i'm all for being all of that and 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 bouncing ideas off of each other as long as if i'm adamant about something you acknowledge it as long as you acknowledge people as your someone has your leader you'll go to great places i didn't get here um by you know what i'm saying bamboozling people and all of this other stuff so i think that in terms of ragnar he deserved that respect because he's he's the one that's been bringing them all of this new stuff he's the one that discovered all of this new stuff about the world he is the one from season one why aren't we listening to him what everybody just want to do their own thing remember the ambush Right? That they lost to King Egbert. Remember that? When he stopped and said something is wrong, and King, King Horik is like, Oh, they're right over there. Let's go. You know what I'm saying? No, don't listen, don't listen to the guy that's been fighting forever. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And have these battle tactics and know what's going on and sees things before they happen and has the wisdom. No, don't listen to that guy. You know, he doesn't know anything. You know what I'm saying? So that's just my thing, man. But it was a brilliant plan that he came up with. I think he's still very sick. I just think that he pretended to die and didn't tell anybody else. I think Bjorn, I think that's what he told Bjorn and tell him that, listen, just let me pretend to die. And then we can get, we can get them. He said, because basically he, he planned out the whole thing. Because he knew if they didn't leave, they're going to come and ask why they haven't leave. So you, all you got to do is tell them, hey, um, I just have one wish. It's like, I can't leave right now because I'm ill, can't travel, right? So, because at even that time I was saying, what do you mean you can't travel if you're sick? If anything, you know what I'm saying? If anything, now is the time to try to go home because your king is sick <laughs> you know what i'm saying but you know i didn't give it a thick a second thought but now when in in hindsight i can look at it and be like okay when he said that that made no sense <laughs> you know what i'm saying but at the same time man it's it's just good to see that plan 
basically planned out the whole thing until they got him in there. Um, I don't know. I don't know if they left holes for him to breathe through. I don't know if they was kind of because they was kind of. You know, you know, when I noticed this now, now, I'm saying a lot of things come to you in hindsight. When the guy, when the priest was splashing, I don't know if you guys noticed this, but when the priest was splashing the water on on the, the casket or whatever he was laying in, you could see that it was absolving it. So they maybe have left some air holes in between, but also... Even though, because I was wondering, okay, he was in there for a long ass time. You get what I'm saying? So they, so he must have been able to breathe somehow because you get what I'm trying to say? So I was thinking, how is how was he in there breathing for that long? But at the same time, you know, you also got to, you also got to wonder, Floki built it. So, but, and Floki didn't know about the plan. So, he wouldn't have intentionally made holes. You get what I'm saying? So, um, I don't know. I don't know. It's just just a theory of mine. Just looking at it and from hindsight, I did did notice that you know, it seemed like the 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 holy water or whatever he was splashing on the coffin was being ab abs absorbed, if you want to call it that, absorbed or leaked through whatever. It just kind of seemed that way when he was splashing the water. On the top of the thing like because i was wondering after the fact after he got out i was wondering how the hell was he in there um that thought came to me how, how was he in there like breathing for that long because i mean we're talking about way back before they marched him over there and all of this other stuff like he was in there for a while so and you know usually if you're in a coffin it's very you know limited amount of air carbon dioxide probably will end up killing you if you're in there breathing so um, if it's not escaping, so, you know, but it could be just plot, <laughs> you know, so, oh my God, man, this, this was a roller coaster, man. I actually, um, teared up cause I thought he was actually dead, man. They, they got me real good. When I say they got me good, they got me really, really good, man. So that was awesome, man. Now they're returning home and now, um, Rolo got that offer. I think he's going to end up marrying this woman <laughs> you know what i'm saying i think he i think he is going to end up marrying her because she can't deny she can't say no she can but you know her father is going to force her to to marry him so thank you guys so much for tuning in man this season was awesome um in its entirety it was great i give it a good 9.9 .9 out of 10 they they really really lost that one little point because of what was happening in episode nine like i think they could have done a better job of placing those scenes they they broke them the good momentum that they had with those scenes man it was just it was just felt it just felt forced you know what i'm saying it just felt forced at that point it just felt forced like we're forcing it in because we don't want to leave this plot point undone and then have to deal with it next season. You get what I'm saying? So, I think they kind of forced it in. But they for they put it in at the wrong place is what I'm saying. I'm not saying it wasn't necessary. I'm saying they put it in at the wrong place. So, as I said, man, this was a good season, man. Great season, 9.9 .9 out of 10. Um, so, thank you guys so much for tuning in, man. Season 4 will start next. So, I hope you guys enjoy these episodes, man. And as always, man, remember to like. Subscribe if you're new. Leave a comment in the comment section. Let me know what you think of these three episodes. And I will see you guys next time, man. Therabyte reacts. Peace.